What's up everybody? Today's video does not feature snowboarding, but if you've ever been interested in getting a Donick snowboard, I'm going to provide some information on this and some boards of my model that they pre-stocked that are generally the kind of specs that I recommend for people. In general, I don't recommend what I ride on. The, uh, I ride a, a very stiff board of my model, of course, and uh, it's just got a 13 meter radius, which is pretty ridiculous, and 31.2 centimeter waist, which is insane. So. If you want to carve deeper, I recommend wider and a slightly larger radius, but jumping all the way up to my specs is kind of nuts, though, so I don't recommend it for most anyone. So let's go learn a little bit more about Donick snowboards. Just arrived at the factory and they wanted me to sign a bunch of posters to uh, give away with my boards. So if you ever order my board, it will come with one of those posters, signed posters, well. They're in stock, and I just made a bunch of next level stickers, so they'll throw in that too. And even if you don't order my board, if you just ask them for a post, if you want a poster and sticker, just ask, and then you will ship it with you while they have them. I am here with Sean Martin of Donick Snowboards. I truly believe for the riding that I do, the model that he has helped build and helped design and made recommendations with the shape and stuff is truly, by far, in a way, the best snowboard in the world for what I do. Uh, it's a pretty stiff board. I've heard that you've called it a flex 11 out of 10. Actually, I usually tell customers it's a 12 out of 10. A 12 out of 10. But he uh, built some softer versions for the Nationals demo last year and a lot of the people liked that better so uh, and that's the basically the boards that were on uh, Vincent and Eugene were riding in the this is snowboarding video so just a bit softer of a flex not so soft that it's a noodle or anything but I ride the board extremely aggressively and with being basically 200 pounds or more you know it's a uh, it works for me to have a, that stiff of a board, but for a lot of you, it won't. So the softer version is what you guys just st stopped a bunch of. Uh, five, five in a 157 length and five in a 153 length. Uh, the widths are on the on the 153 is a 27 meter, centimeter width and a 28 on the 157. So basically, not so crazy of specs that it's going to be ridiculous to ride, but give you an extra clearance in that width where you tilt your board on edge you're not going to hit your toes and heels uh, nearly as early so that I'm super glad that I worked up my in my width in you know I gradually worked my way up if I'd have jumped all the way up to my 31.2 right now from a normal width I probably would have hated that board so that's why uh, I asked Sean if he wanted to stock some boards where I advertise them like this and they were down usually you guys don't Ad, uh, usually you don't like pre-make boards. You yes. just get a customer that wants a specific, you know, each board's custom made. So correct. I mean, it is a uh, it is rather rare for us to stock boards. Uh, these sizes, though, are relatively common or very close to common sizes that we're building for customers. So if you want a board quick, you're not super interested in you know, custom graphics, or you like Ryan's solid black top sheet and the next level base, uh, anything like that, this is a really, really good choice for somebody making their first step towards a carving board like this. I absolutely agree, because yep, I can't recommend jumping all the way to my crazy specs, but something like this, if you're interested in a board that's gonna carve deeper, still be a lot more solid than a noodly board, then this is a really good option for a lot of you, I think. So, uh, yeah, uh, obviously the real fun can be designing your own graphics, top sheet, base sheet, sure. your own specs, but if you don't know ex what kind of specs you might want and want to jump into this realm of deeper carving, then this is probably a great option it's, if, if these lengths start. work for you. You can always talk to me, find out what I recommend, talk to Ryan, find out what he recommends, but uh, if you're an average size person riding a 153 or a 157 or in that size range, yep. your foot isn't more than an 11 size, then you're probably pretty safe with one of these shapes. Yep. And even a, even a size 11 or 12 boot, if you're, if you're not carving super deep, that could still be a great option. Absolutely. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be the traditional wide board for you. Absolutely. Yeah, well, I mean, even traditional wide boards are what we would consider normal width. A 26.3 is not a wide board in our in our stand uh, in our standards. That's that's a 
a recommendation we would make for about a ten and a half boot for a lot of people. So, um, yeah, I think these are these are great choices. Yep. So if you have any questions about these boards or getting custom boards, put a, leave a comment and I'll do my best to answer all of them in this question in in this on this video. You can also email me at cofuser.com and I'll do my best to reply. If I've missed some of your past emails, just email me again because I, I know I've missed some in the past. Um, but uh, let us go to the real beauty of Donick Snowboards is fully customizing everything. So for those are in, that are interested in that. Can we do a little thing of just like showing how, say, say if someone wanted a 27 centimeter width, 8.5 radius on my nap on my board, and uh, just they wanted a 150 length. How about showing just the but you know he's got I, the software I, I that is so software. beautiful that he can just customize all of this and the machines and the rest of sure. the people in the shop just take care of it for you. So, yeah, this is. Uh this is all in Microsoft Excel, which is kind of weird, but uh, it is, uh, it's, the, it's the way I do a lot of programming, it's the way I do a lot of mathematical modeling. So if somebody called me up and said I want a 150 uh, in a Napton, uh, we still call it an incline twin in our system, although it's uh, relabeled as a Napton, but that's, that's what it was originally. So I'm just going to add a 151 down here to my list and then I'm gonna put a name next to it and change it to a 150 in the description and I'm gonna change so we work in inches here because it's very difficult to find good metric tape measures in the US so I'll change it to 59 inches which is very close to a 150 and then let's say you wanted a 27 centimeter waist we're going to go 27 270 millimeters if you wanted an 8.5 meter side cut we just do that we can adjust our stiffness here this is a engineering measurement but let's say we want to make it a little softer than stock and we want a 54 centimeter reference stance we're all done it's just keystrokes to get there so all our specs are entered we can then uh, run this software that runs in the background it is actually calculating the core profile and adjusting the core thickness to match the needs of all of those specs so that we can get all of that done then we're just going to go over here to our final build sheet and this generates our build ticket exports the files for that particular customer so i can go in here and we'll just create a test file here um, so I, our system knows not to do anything with this. Actually, I need to go like this. And then I can export these files to a folder somewhere on my hard drive, um, which is in our, our build list, but I'll throw it in a test folder. And I just export the files, and boom! All the files that tell the CNC machines how to cut every single component are now on the server, and ready to be cut. And that is so insane to me because one of my complaints uh, growing up snowboarding, you know, I wanted a certain model of board, but you'd have to jump from a, like a 151 up to a 158 or 151 to a 157. And I really hated that because I wanted that same model, but I wanted to, you know, go up in length a bit. So that's truly the beauty of Donic. And I think why you have such probably the most repeat, cust highest percentage of repeat customers of any brand, I'd assume. Well, I mean, we, we have some, we have customers that we're still working with that we started working with 20 years ago. Uh, it, it really is unique to be able to work with a customer, build them a board and have them call us up a year later, five years later and say, hey, I've been riding this board. Uh, I like this about it and this and this, but I really, really, I'm not liking this. Or I'd like it a little softer or a little stiffer, or I'd like to change this. I'd like to change this characteristic and we can work with that customer and help them find their next step in their progression of riding, make adjustments to the specs and within seven to ten days build them a new board. Yeah. Will uh, there be, I know the shop's been extremely busy lately, will there be any delay on that or is that a... Uh... We're, we're not really sure right now, we are kind of at uh, seven to ten days right now. Normally this time of year we'd be at five to seven, so we're pushing out a little bit longer. 
Um, we may add some staff to the shop if it gets really, really busy. But that's a, a whole new whole new can of worms to open because okay. everything works so smoothly for us these days. Cool. Well, thank you for uh, you know taking us yeah, through how easy you can fully customize a board and you know just talking about the models that you stopped up so uh, sure. you know maybe if they'll sell out maybe it's possible to do more of those in the future we'll see we uh, will we will try and keep those shapes in inventory so if they start selling down quickly we'll bump in on days when we're not super busy we'll bump in some more stock stuff and keep them in there and so if, since you're saying that if uh, if they're if those are selling if you guys would want them in different lengths just let us know and maybe uh, maybe we could make that happen. But uh, yeah, I want to thank you because you've taken my snowboarding to the whole next level just because of the what you your manufacturing capabilities could do. Because sure. I literally could not grab any other snowboard off the shelf and do a lot of what I do. So uh, I just want to thank you and it's it's been <laughs> awesome working with you know getting to ride for you guys and yep. yeah. So uh, yeah, I'll probably uh, kick out a couple more thoughts at home that I. Uh, that I think of while I'm driving home, so we'll see you there. Two other things for these pre-stocked boards, they come with a slight price discount and complimentary powder inserts, which are normally an add-on. So uh, yeah, if those are the type of links that you think you might want, check them out. So for navigating to it, donicksnowboards.com, on the shop snowboards, all the way down to the bottom, in stock, and then you'll see the Napton Twin and can find it there. So. Uh, along with all the other models that, you know, might be appro more appropriate for how you ride. So uh, check out, check it out, and uh, let me know in the comments if you have any dis questions on, on any of the boards. I'll do my best to help you out. And, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Happy shredding, and kapla!